And I know it's a little tough to see, but this is our brother DCP7065DN copier printer. We use it mostly for a copier. Can be used as a network printer, but we don't need it for that. Simply just for black and white copies. And uh, we had this up at our office in Charlotte. Um, I guess I didn't train somebody well enough to know how to change out the cartridge because there's a brand new cartridge, but there's no drum. Uh, they must have thrown it out or something. And <laughs> of course, you know, it won't work without the drum. So I am. Um, Searched around, found one of these aftermarket ones, DR420-450, which is the kind that I need, suitable for a brother, um, printer, and copier. So we're just do going to do like an open box here, and uh, we'll get this thing installed. Found this on eBay. This is about $12. Um, I usually don't go for aftermarket, like printer and stuff like that, printer cartridges, but in this case the drums, they're pretty much universal. Um, it's got a nice bubble wrap to protect it. Right, get that out of the way, and then you know, I'm going to need some scissors to cut this open. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Uh, I don't know what that KT0414 is, probably the month and year that it was manufactured. And uh, basically you get a little, I guess, something to protect the roller. I'll take this out with one hand. And then, so now that's set. Next is the cartridge, which goes only in one way. A little something like that. There we go, snaps in place. And then, it should slide right into the printer. So, yep, locked in. So now I'll go ahead and actually I got it unplugged, so let me plug it in and check it out. Alright. Please wait. Drum in soon. Well, we should go into the menu and tell it a little something different. Menu, let's see, general setup, paper, ecology, LCD, replace toner, uh, reset. Uh, do all settings. Reset. Reboot OK. Yes. Accepted. to its reboot. We'll see if the toner is still there. Yeah, this has been a powerhouse for our small business for copies like taxes. Nope, it's still there. And let's find out where to go here. Machine info. Drum life, six percent. Uh, let's see, I gotta figure this out. Okay, well, it's showing 6%. I can't seem to reset it, and maybe because it's an aftermarket drum, but I know it works, and uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and uh, just clear out, and do a cycle through. Yeah, it might be out of paper. And yeah, we are. Uh, no, we're actually not. It's just not grabbing it. Okay, well, we'll have some fun with this. All right, resetting the paper. 
and everything seems to be working fine again so there you go yeah all right well I'll go ahead and we'll just leave that drum setting so that I'll I guess just leave it as is not much I can do about it but it works so you know twelve dollars compared to whatever a new drum costs which is what sometimes thirty or more dollars so you know it works so I just tested it <laughs> anyway there you go just a quick video installing a generic drum on a brother uh, copier printer so yep uh, yeah I found this on eBay for twelve bucks so yeah can't complain alright there you go. Thanks for watching.